Hi, in this video I'll show you how to unlink the data in your chart from its source. So what does that mean? Let's create a chart out of this small set of data. I'll insert a column chart and we'll show you. So we have our column chart here and if I had changed any data here, let's say this is a random number generator, if I change any of the data here I'll just press F9 to randomly generate the data. You see it moves, but let's say I want to kind of delink this data or detach this data from the chart and maybe it's an instance where I want to create different uh, variations of the chart. What I can do, there's two ways we can do this. The first way is we can make a copy of the chart and paste it as a picture. So I go and cop control C to copy and I just paste it as a picture. So as the data changes here, you can see if I press F9 to recalculate this, that all changes, but that doesn't change there. Now, we can take this and put it into PowerPoint or some other kind of documentation, but what if we wanted to do a series of these and later on we wanted to change the coloring scheme of things? Well, you'd have to go through and create all these charts again. However, there is another way we can do that, and we can just take the series data in and put it in statically. So what does that mean? Let's say we have our data here and I click on this particular set of data and you can see it points to, it uses a series function and it points to a range uh, of cells here, right? What we can do is we can make that static. So if I go into the formula bar, I can go in here and press the F9 key which will calculate this function or it calculates this formula. See what it's done, it's put in January, February, March here for the series and it's put in the values, 998, 428, 931, and one, right? I press enter, that particular set of data becomes static now. If I click on my next series of cells here and go in here and press F9 and then press enter, that series of data becomes static and do that for my third series of data here. Go into the formula bar, press F9, that series of data becomes static. Now all I need to do is uh, move this aside if I wanted to create something else here. You can see if I press the F9 key to recalculate anything here, this changes, but this does not change. Now I can create another column uh, chart. Let's click OK. And I can have one here. And this may be different data that I want to copy and paste. So then the beauty in this is this is still a chart object in Excel and I can change the formatting of each of them, where previously, if I had copied and pasted as a picture, I couldn't really change it. I had to kind of go through um, creating another chart here and doing it again. So this just gives some flexibility in terms of how you want to present your charts and how you want to save them and put them into other documents. So there's two ways we can do that. If we want to delink the data from the source in a chart or detach it, what we can do is copy and paste as an image or we can take the series of data and have that those inputs in there statically instead of referencing the range. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.